Hey Sagittarius, we're taking a look at some events coming up um, in the upcoming week. I feel like you are, um, well, the Oracle of Delphi is here, which is the High Priestess, which that's the underlying energy. And I do, I do feel as if you may be getting, some, receiving some information. Um, the high priestess for me is Gemini and Pisces energy. And it could be that you're hearing from someone, um, or you could just be all of a sudden just knowing this, right? Uh, because, you know, the high priestess is receptive. And so, but I kind of really feel like you are learning something you didn't know. Okay, and, and, and it's really interesting because I feel like there is a person or people here that really disappointed you, Saj, really disappointed you. And, and we get that way because, you know, we do have high expectations for people. I, I don't feel like that ever changes, but um, I do feel as if, you know, you just came to this point with someone where you stopped giving, okay? Because the six of keys is here reverse, which is really a decrease, okay? It has to do with the waning moon. Um, so it, it's, a, it's a sense of, it's a sense of letting go. Um, it's a, also of nothing happening, kind of, it kind of is, I, I wouldn't say a negative energy, exactly but kind of this energy of there's nothing i can do here you know and uh here they are this is like four of cups energy four of roses um views of the ego okay so this is definitely someone who who possibly mirrored back to you they showed up really in selfishness and being all about themselves it can be groups of people but i feel like these were people or person you know because we do see more than one person here right that just really was out for themselves really was stuck in their ego um you know showed up in a selfish way and, and you, I, I feel like you kept waiting for it to change, you know, kept waiting, kept waiting. But with this energy, there, there came a point recently where you stopped waiting for it. You just said, you know what, there, there's literally nothing I can do here. There's nothing I can do here. And, you know, maybe you've been isolating in particular, um, this is world energy, Uriel and the Sphinx, it, that it talks about healing with Uriel, right? But, and definitely Uriel is helping you bring, you know, this period to a close. And I kind of felt like this has already happened. I feel like you already gave up on, on this person or this group of people. And... You know, but now you're receiving some information here because your overall feeling for the week is hope, right? So maybe there's hope here, you know, um, because this is someone, uh, I feel like you, you're not even aware of how you're getting this information. So I don't feel like this message necessarily may be coming out right away. But I do feel as if you know it's coming. There is a sense of you know that this situation is going to turn around because there is a blessing here, right? There's a blessing. And I, I very much feel like it might be you're getting the recognition you deserve here. You know, maybe from these people, this person, however this resonates for you. You know, I, I feel like you, there definitely was a sense that people weren't considering you in things. You weren't being appreciated. This can be, you know, work. This could be relationships. I kind of feel like this is relationships. And, you know, I kind, I do feel too, for some, this is going to be about love, right? A particular person. But 
I also feel like this is a broader scale. You know, I, I really do because I feel like this is part of a karmic circle, uh, a karmic cycle, you know, bringing that, you know, to a close because under the deck we have the four of scrolls, the karmic trench, right? Um, and the light of the world, you know, I, and clearing the way. So I, there's a strong energy here of where you have been the light for people. You know, you have tried to help people and, you know, you had to in the end kind of let them go because they weren't changing. You know, you, and I feel like there was a sense within you that, you know, you kind of have to save yourself. I, I can't. I can't fix everybody. You know, if people don't want to change, I have to stop holding on to them. Yeah. Yeah. Neptune, confusion. Okay. <laughs> if you're looking for personal readings or products, please check out the link in my description. And we're going to go through this and find out some more. Tell me about the Oracle of Delphi, please. One card for the Oracle of Delphi. Oracle of Delphi. Oh, here we go, y'all. Ego. <laughs> Vanity and pride. Like, wow. The, whoever this is, whoever these people are, like literally so much ego here. <laughs> and, and I feel like they've been working on that because with the High Priestess, we're connecting with our Divine Feminine. You know, and, you know, I do feel like when this person contacts you, however that shows up in, in your environment, it's kind of taking them a lot to do that. Okay, it really is. So what's ego about? Why is ego here? Maybe they're telling you that they've had a look at this. <laughs> you know, they've had a look at it. Yes, they have. Maybe even been praying on it. Wow. You know, spirit guides. This is assistance from spirit guides. You know, maybe this is really about this person kind of going through an ego death. You know, and connecting more with their heart. Wow. And and I feel like if if you... And it's so funny because, of course, the high priestess is about psychic nudges, right? Of course it is. So if you're not directly receiving a message from this person, there is something that's going to spark within you. And this is what's giving you hope is that this person is starting to see themselves. You know, it may be your spirit guide. You may find this in synchronicities, you know. Um, wow. Okay. So six of keys reversed. Six of keys reversed for Sagittarius. Yeah, release, <laughs> purge, like surrender. That's exactly it. And and I feel like you you realize that you would stop hurting over things when you or people, you know, when you just gave in. And I feel like that's what you did. You just said, you know what, I'm gonna hand it over to God to the universe to handle because I cannot, I can't carry this. It's it's literally too heavy. So four of roses. Tell me about the Four of Roses. Tell me about the... Well, here's uh, something interesting. Stability is coming in. Okay, so literally you were waiting for this person to change, but, you know, and you might have also tried to like control the flow here you might have tried to make stability come in and I mean I do feel like it's kind of like the same message coming is that you realize that you couldn't yeah it's kind of like you had to really step into the flow of things into surrender and let things go even though I do feel like it hurt I do feel like it hurt it definitely probably hurt it, it always hurts to let go of people so why is stability here? Regret. Wow. 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 
there's definitely a lot of emotions that you're releasing and you know like in order to improve your own flow you have to let go of regrets here and i i just feel like you you know regret that it didn't work out basically that you know nothing changed and that you wound up having to leave so uriel and the sphinx uriel and the sphinx oh wow yes and uh, you know this has caused a breakthrough for you <clears throat> a breakthrough in terms of your own life purpose like you could look at what your north node is right but, and your north node is, is the energy you're supposed to move into, but I, it's also about being there for yourself, you know, um, but there's, there's kind of also a sense within you that you know that like whatever went on with this person or these people was something you were supposed to learn and it was leading you towards a greater purpose in your life. Um, maybe that's about being more about yourself. Yeah, but like you're starting to see that even you letting go, even you releasing this person was meant to happen. Was meant to happen so that, you know, you could actually move towards your destiny. Maybe and stop being so much about the other person. You know, there's that. And that that's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so let's find out more okay page of cups is on the bottom so i do feel like there will be a message there will be communication coming from this person definitely and definitely since um you know Definitely since we are in this Venus and Pisces energy, which I thought was going to be one way, but it very much looks like past people coming back quite a bit. And, you know, so you may receive communication from this person. Um, and they want to talk about the past. Okay, Six of Cups, right? Um, and, and really about, like, like, I feel like you're going to talk about it, but I feel like you talk about it to move away from it. Okay, so whatever happened here, there is some communication happening in regards to the past. Because with the Six of Cups, it, it it's like a turnaround, you know, it's a gift. But it also has to do with the past. You know, revisiting a past experience so that you can move on, right? Um, but... I feel like the person is the one bringing this. And God knows we've seen this past people coming back for some time now, right? But this is bringing in the Ace of Pentacles. There's definitely a change here. Because now we're seeing the Six of Pentacles upright. So maybe that's why you're feeling the hope here. Maybe that's why you're feeling the hope. So, you know, where is this all leading, Sagittarius? Where is this leading to? Five of Wands. Oh boy. Where is this leading to? Okay. Okay. Um, this is leading to, there definitely was a conflict here. So there's definitely, what this may have been a conflict with one person. It could be a conflict with, with many people. But there's a sense of not being able to get on the same page. With the Five of Wands, it's kind of like people not seeing our point of view. You know, not it's, it's be it's having different views about something and not being able to find that middle ground. You know, we don't like the fives, honestly. Um, but, you know, what's happening is the magician. Very good. <laughs> um, it, it, it's a sense of transmuting this energy. Right. Um, because the, the the magician focuses on making things work. And so how can we take, you know, our different viewpoints on things and make that work? It's bringing in healing, growth, rebirth. You know, getting what you deserve. You know, at the end of the day, you had to do this because, you know, 
I am the prize, right? Because you had to be about your worth. You had to be about what you deserve. And wow, that's an amazing, amazing ending, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. It sure is. And here's, here's the thing is like, um, it is going to take time. It is going to take time, no doubt. And with the fool, this is, you know, this is a brand new way of moving in this. And, and this is a risk, you know. Um, I feel like it's a risk for you. So maybe, you know, you're not going to say yay or nay. You're going to see what someone does. See what they do. See what they do. But, you know, um, it is it is requiring a whole lot of courage from all parties concerned. All parties concerned. And I actually really love this energy. I really love it. So, yeah, Sag, you know, you're re you, you are resolving conflicts with people and being okay with, like, we don't have to, we can actually make our differences work for us. You know, when in the past it might have been both parties just trying to get their way. I love this. I love this. So let's get a closing oracle for inspiration. What is going to inspire Sagittarius this week? I can tell you the love is definitely there for sure. Some inspiration for Sagittarius this week. Okay, Sag. Creating heaven on earth. It's happening. I just feel like you... This feels like a fresh start. You know, finding where you belong. Something different. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Yeah, so there's definitely a sense that what would help you this week is to get outside. Get outside. Okay, Saj, that's the future events of the week. Talk to you soon.